The safety of cell phones has been a hot topic on the news these days. I mean, are they really safe? What exactly does using a cell phone expose us to? Are there effects? Many of the questions cannot be answered fully at this time due to the relatively recent emergence of the cell phone as well as the lack of studies on the subject. However, some recent studies have shown that people who use cell phones for 10 years or longer significantly increase their risk for brain and salivary gland tumors. Childhood brain cancer has also risen by 26% from 1973 to 1996 and is suspected to be attributed to the increase in cell phone use. Some of the newest phones on the market today contain the highest amount of radiation legally allowed in phones. For a full list of the safer cell phones, please visit our products page. Since cell phones do emit radiation, it is a good idea to limit your exposure at all times, but especially during pregnancy and with small children. First and foremost is to limit cell phone use when you can. Try to use a landline, but not a cordless phone due to similar concerns. If you are using a cell, a good way to keep the phone away from your head is by using the speakerphone. Headsets are often touted as a safer choice, but some studies show the use of headsets increase the amount of radiation emitted by over 300%. Do not wear it on your hip or put it in your pocket, especially if you are pregnant. Keep it away from you when you're not using it. Keep in mind to take out the headset when you're not using it as it emits a constant flow of low-level radiation. Text instead of talking. Also know that the radiation levels increase when you are talking and texting rather than receiving when the signal is poor, and when the radiation shields are used. Finally, keep in mind that young children's brains absorb twice the radiation from a cell phone as adults, so limit children's use of these devices as much as possible.